I'm on Twitter, browsing, and on all these tweets, I keep seeing this mini projector being advertised by like random accounts. This picture combined with this picture specifically. This image comes up a lot. $100 for this cheap product. No, I don't feel lucky. Go away. No, this is a scam. <laughs> McCafe Secure. Oh, oh, sure. Okay, this looks familiar. I'm gonna come back to this. Anyways, this is advertising the same photo, but with a different projector. Same photo, different projector. Star, the star. Yep. I feel like downloading a virus today. Why don't I go see what this is all about? Here is the actual website for this projector. $50 on sale. Normal price is apparently $350 for this cheap little thing that probably costs like 30 bucks on AliExpress. No, go away. Ali, go away. Yeah, 30 bucks for the same one. $30? Oh, but hold on, you're getting a good deal. $350, yeah, right. Also, you can't open Inspect Element on this website at all. So like, I'm right-clicking, F12 does nothing, Control shift i does nothing. The only way to access developer tools on this is to go in your settings and force it. I can't open it with any shortcut because there's a JavaScript script, I think, that's telling the debugger to pause. I can't pause it. I unpause it and then it immediately pauses itself. This is like one of the first scripts it runs, so it's like you can't look into this. this cars? <laughs> I don't know why this is so funny to me. What does this mean? Compact size, big wisdom. What is big wisdom? Wait, how does this work? What? What a crusty picture. Why is this picture so crusty? Fashion and art. Yes, this is- Is this even the same one? Wait, this isn't even the same projector. Look, this one has great buttons on it, and there's these two little things on the side right here. I don't think it's the same one, because the gray buttons- there's no gray buttons up here. Sitting at home all day just got 10 times better. Lies. She's lying down. She's not sitting. Small phone projector used to stream big things. It used to. It doesn't anymore. Where's the projector? It's not... That's a television. You brought a television in the middle of nowhere. What are you plugging this into? Why is that such a tall ceiling? We truly believe we carry some of the best products in the world. If you don't have a positive experience for any reason, we will do what? Ever it takes to make sure you are 100% satisfied with your purchase. They will kill someone. Verified purchaser. I want to see these. That is a spicy $350 projector user interface. I haven't squeaked with happiness in a hundred years. They sell this stuff to vampires? Nice. More reviews? I can look at more? <laughs> look at all these bad words. Our guarantee. The customer is our num- Our guarantee. So they can just straight up change the rules on you. That's nice to know. The mini projector shop. Here's the thing. Ask the mini projector shop, and there was a different one. Support at mini movie projector. Why are these two different websites? Shouldn't it be support at mini projector shop? They should be the same, but they're not. You will be responsible for paying for your own shipping costs for returning your item. Shipping costs are non-refundable. If you receive a refund, the cost of return shipping will be deducted from your refund. Okay, if you do a refund, that means you have to pay for your own shipping, and then once you ship it in, and they give you a refund, they take away the money that you paid to ship the item back to them. So you're basically paying two times the shipping just to send it back to them for your refund they already didn't cheap out enough, they're still taking out the return cost from their shipping that you already paid for. Here is why for sure this is a scam. Here's their privacy policy. Look how many brackets there are. Add or subtract any other tracking technologies used. They've used a different URL before. Look, they, they have the URL right here that's with the dashes in between. Then here, there's no dashes. Just copy and paste this from some other scam website that they tried. Add any other vendors with whom you share this information. Add insert any other payment types accepted. Add any other vendors with whom you share this information. For example, sales channels, payment gateways. Why are you, why are you leaving this in? This is, you're supposed to delete this. It's in all caps for a reason. Insert any information you collect. Insert following section if age restriction is required. This site is not intended for individuals under the age of insert age. 
And then here's why it's a scam. Here's a completely different website using the exact same privacy policy. You can opt out of targeted advertising. Yeah, it's the same one. It's the same privacy policy on a completely different website. It's for sure a scam. We do, do not, include the following section only if you sell personal information. Look at this whole bold section that they were supposed to take out. Another one here, another one here, another one here. Last updated date, never. This is for sure a scam. If you see, this isn't the only one too. Like I've seen this in a list with like, what is it right now? It's like, it's this, the green tea mask, those glow in the dark balls you throw at the ceiling, the, the big plush seal pillow. They're basically all doing this. How am I using six gigabytes of RAM on these two websites? If you see these, like, don't be dumb, don't actually buy these you can if you really want a portable projector go in like aliexpress and just buy one of the 30 dollars ones you, you don't pay 50 dollars for this don't give these people who can't spell guarantee your 70 dollars and your card info all right that's it